I think funeral directors help families at one of life's most difficult times. I think when everyone else wants to take a deep breath, and as they should, take a deep breath and, and step back and gain perspective, a funeral director steps in with perspective that, that really helps them uh, create meaningful services and meaningful tributes to lives lived. I am Cody and I am a Canadian funeral director. When you get a call in the middle of the night or in the afternoon, it's a family that's in distress and they want your professionalism there for them. So you make yourself available, whether it's five o'clock when it's time to go home or it's seven o'clock that night that want you back there to answer their questions. They're in distress and they give you all the details that they want answers for and you put it all in perspective and you do all the details for them and they're very satisfied what you do. And after it, the services have been completed, then you help them with all the benefits, whether it's Canada Pension, a Veterans Allowance, an RCMPL benefit, you're very satisfied and you feel good about yourself serving that family. I'm Wayne Weatherby from Sydney, Nova Scotia, and I'm a Canadian funeral director. I love helping people. That's as simple as it gets. It's something that I, always felt right from the start when I was a co-op student at a funeral home in high school. And I think that everything we do relates back to helping people regardless of how big or small the gesture or the task. And I think that that is what makes it important to do what we do to keep that in our minds. My name is Megan and I am proud to be a Canadian funeral director. I enjoy funeral service and being Canadian funeral director because I care for the families that I serve and I care for my staff and how they care for the families that they serve. So I'm Scott McLeod and I'm a Canadian funeral director. Helping someone through the most difficult time in their life is probably one of the most rewarding aspects of the career, my career and specifically being a small community. Helping someone through a difficult time, people that you've grown up with, people that you're friends with, people that family, friends, it's, it's why I do what I do. My name is Allison. I am a Canadian funeral director. For me, uh, giving a little bit of myself to, to someone else at a difficult time, um, that's how I would define uh, if I've been successful in, in my lifetime, is if I've been able to uh, just give a little bit of myself out and do what I commit, look at, look at people in the eye, shake their hand and, and promise them I'll walk with them through a difficult time. And uh, if I've been able to achieve that, that's success for me. I'm Jeff Weaver and I'm a Canadian Funeral Director. Well, not only is it the opportunity as a third generation funeral director to have worked with a multitude of people over the years who are in a difficult time in their lives, but it's been able to work with some great people that are caring and compassionate. And my name is Ernie, and I'm a Canadian funeral director. I plan, coordinate, honor, and celebrate the life of everyday Canadians. Hello, my name is Jude. I am a funeral director. I like to use the expression that we are the merchants of hope when all others have lost that hope as well. My name is George Dart and I am a Canadian funeral director. I am profoundly honoured to help people during what is arguably one of the most difficult times of their lives. My name is John and I'm a Canadian funeral director. We serve areas that have different nationalities and different races and we have to be aware of their customs and we try to fit into what they want, not what we want. Uh, something that becomes personal to them and our feeling is, is that if we can touch base with exactly they feel and how they feel, we are more apt to, to help them in, in a very much more positive way. Uh, my name is James and I'm a Canadian Funeral Director. Um, I love having the opportunity to serve families at a very hard time in their life. Uh, I really become part of their life for that uh, number of uh, days and then on into the years. Uh, my name is Faye Dusat and I'm a proud Canadian funeral director. I, I believe that we, we are more organizers uh, with compassion. I believe is, is, is what we do. We don't give them spiritual help, but we give them organizational, organizational skills, possibly. And it's uh, very gratifying to, to feel that when we give, uh, that we also receive so much love back from what we do. My name is Rick Weeb of Weeb Funeral Homes in Southern Manitoba, and I'm very proud to be a Canadian funeral director. It's kind of a having two life. You have a life of being a funeral director, 
helping people, and you have your own life. And people tend to forget that. You know, sometimes uh, that as a funeral director, we're human. We have some sense. Uh, we have the, you know, we, we could laugh and have fun also. Uh, and when it's time with the family uh, to be professional and uh, to be able to help them. So uh, at a young age, I wanted to be there and I wouldn't do anything else in my life. My name is Yves Gerson and I'm proud to be a Canadian Funeral Director. Je suis directeur de funérailles thanatologue au Québec depuis 35 ans. Pour être une personne importante dans ma communauté, je veux aider les gens dans ma communauté. Mon nom est Richard Hébert et je suis un directeur de funérailles canadien. I, after the whole, whole uh, service is over for families to come and to be able to share, uh, embrace you and say, you made a difference. That's where it's, after it's all said and done, you know you've, you've touched someone's life. And so I'm proud to be a Canadian funeral director. My name is Lewis McIntosh, and I am proud to be a Canadian funeral director.